All right, now, October is the best time of the year to purchase a home. We'll get into that here uh, a second later. And while home buying is an exciting process, it can also be stressful, which Rich, we know you know all about. Stressful and overwhelming. This segment brought to you by Rock Mortgage Lending. Our friend Rich Allensworth is here to break it all down for us. Hey, Rich, good to yeah. see you. Good morning, guys. Yeah, thanks for being back. Families right now, we're juggling a lot. Most of us are looking for a way to yes. save time, <laughs> make things run more smoothly. What advice would you give potential home buyers to make the process a little easier on themselves? Well, probably one of the most important things is kind of set goals of how much you want to spend and what you're doing with your with your purchase price. I mean, there's a lot to look into it. And as prices go up, inflation goes up, it's even a little more tough to make sure you manage your right money. But, uh, you know, set goals, uh, determine do you want a bigger house and less financial freedom or, mm -hmm. hey, I can do it a little bit smaller and have a little more financial freedom. Sure. Yeah, that's a, that's a great way to think it's about it. It's also a hard decision to make, right? Because it depends on where you are in your life. You know, maybe if you've got kids who are all out of the house, you say, okay, we can downsize, but then maybe you want your kids to come home and it's like, what do we do? Right, yeah. Yeah. Right. And different. you know, really, I think it's important the way you got to set the guidelines or, you know, the best thing to do is sit down with a list with your wife and family go, hey, here's what we need. The sure. most important thing is, hey, we've got to have that third or fourth bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a big backyard. We have a dog. Whatever those things are, you know, sit down with your family, maybe some friends that own houses and determine what's important. And really for first time homeowners, you really want to know there's cost when you have a house. Some, someone's got to mow the yard now. Uh, the appliances <laughs> go bad. It's your responsibility. So I really recommend for first time home buyers to uh, get a home warranty. That way you know what it's a fixed cost if something goes out. Sure. Yeah, certainly. That's, that's a great tip. You know, the more you come on this show, the more I feel like we talk about planning. It's planning to buy. Yeah. It's not just something you jump into overnight, right? It's planning and it's sitting down with a professional also to help iron out those details. So when people are out there and they're considering whether to do this, what about a list of needs? That mm. seems to be something that's important to home buyers. Yeah, definitely the needs as we discussed. You know, have, have an idea exactly what you have to have and what you want and make sure the needs are on a list and sit down with your realtor and go, hey, I want to know, I got to have this and let them walk through the houses because they're going to do the work for you up front and determine, hey, this is a good house for you or not a good house for you. The other piece is kind of making sure you stay in your budget. Mm. Uh, it's really, really important. Uh, and I think if you sit down and you make a list and keeping your budget, probably the budget is the most important thing. The hard part in the last three to six months is if you come in and look to purchase a house uh, in March and you can't find one for five months, well, you can't afford as much. Interest rates went up, you know, maybe 3%. Right. So it makes okay. it a little more difficult. So you, ne you need to stay in touch with the lender. Yeah, that's a great Make sure you're still qualified. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good tip for sure. Do you have any other advice for uh, the home buying process just to make it a little bit smoother? There could be a little bit of anxiety, maybe some nerves when it comes to the home buying process. Like we've talked about the whole deal, a plan and a goal. Make sure that you know exactly what your plan is and what your goal is. And then, you know, sit down with your realtor and determine, hey, where I want to be, what I need, and really want to get pre-qualified. The most important part is getting pre-qualified. Uh, more than ever, though, in the pre-qualifications we just talked about is make sure that you stay in touch with your lender because if you were pre-qualified at 5%, now the rate's 7%. Right. Uh, there's a whole lot more expenses there. Sure. And uh, I get worried about people that bought a house in the last couple of years with inflation. It's like, okay, everything costs more now. If you were at the top of your budget when you bought that house with inflation, can you still afford that house? So it's really important to stay within a budget and mm -hmm. make sure you're pre-qualified. Your lender can help you through that. And most importantly, I think really is you need a really good realtor. There's a ton of realtors out there. Someone that knows the market, knows your needs, can really help. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, absolutely. I've got a question about... Um, you know, and I know this this gets me all the time. I'm not sure it's the same in the housing market, but like hidden fees, hidden costs, things that I don't necessarily know about. Who will know those things? Yeah, that's what your lender will help with. Okay. You know, the realtor will help a little bit on some of the costs, but you do have closing costs. And when the closing costs, you know, you're going to have the title fees, you're going to have an appraisal fee, you're going to have the revenue stamps, the city charges or county, and uh, then our lender fee. But really, those all should be expected and not a shock right uh when the lending process starts you should get those but everyone's like hey what is this fee i right, thought i had three thousand dollars now i owe eight thousand uh there's a, a lot of fees in there that people aren't prepared for at all times because right. everyone saves up and they go okay i've got money for my down payment well there's another four or five six sure. grand for the, per yeah. for the closing sure. cost yeah yes, absolutely. absolutely that's that's great to know folks like you are out there to help us well yeah. and as the market's changed a little bit you know the last couple of years we were at uh 30 40 60 grand over sales price 
Now it's gone down. We actually are seeing some sellers pay the closing costs, which is a big benefit. Less sure. money out of pocket for the borrower. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We've got some information right there on your screen on how you can contact Rich or anybody at Rock Mortgage Lending to help you through the buying process. If you didn't take away anything from today's interview, it is definitely a team effort yes. between yourself, your lender, and your realtor when it comes to buying a house. Rich, we appreciate you. Yes. Most definitely. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>